Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. What I would like to cover today is some of the enhanced options in your visual styles in Revit 2015. As you can see here, I've got a 3D view open and I've just got the hidden line style on. If you take a look here at the bottom in your view settings, you've got some different options. One of those is the shadows toggle. So if I turn that on or off, you can get an idea as to how the light plays in the current settings in this room. But um, if I come into the cube here, the visual styles options, you can see some of the options that you have as a default, the wireframe, hidden line, shaded, and then at the top you have graphic display options. So these are really nice if you want to just um, bypass the render process and just export out some quick 3D views and you want to give them a look as though um, they were just rendered with pens and markers in a traditional style just for a quick review of concept. So as you can see here at the top and under model display, we've got the style options that are um, consistent with what we have at the bottom here. But uh, if I change that to shaded right now, we'll get the, the colors that are um, basically coincide with the materials of these building elements. So as you can see, I got some red walls here and um, the floor you're not picking up actually the wood grain or the, the floorboards that I've got on that material but that's because the materials are set up with um, a style as shaded and not as rendered so that's a topic for another day with materials but for the time being what I'd just like to show you are some of these options so the first one is smooth lines with anti-aliasing so if I check that and I click on apply you'll see that my line work now has gotten a little bit smoother and it looks as though it's been uh, graphically done with a pen or uh, a, a marker essentially and then you also have the options of shadows so I'll just expand shadows and just to show you the difference here I'm going to check show ambient shadows and uncheck cast shadows and we'll click on apply and see what happens here so as you can see the the shadow that was cast by these mullions is no longer present and what you're seeing is a little bit different diffusion of the shadows so where the light won't reach as much you're seeing things darker like here at the corners so that's kind of a, a nice look and what it'll also do is in an interior view if you don't have a lot of lighting in your model at this point you can throw the ambient shadows on and it'll brighten up the view a little bit so the other thing that I wanted to explore was the sketchy lines. Uh, right now this is just normal lines, but if we enable sketchy lines and we move the jitter up a little bit, I'll click on apply and you can see now that the line work looks a little more jagged, uh, a little bit more like this was done maybe in a diner on a napkin and somebody was just drawing this out quick. Mind you, that would be a pretty long stay at the diner, but however, you can see that these lines come off of uh, the geometry that's in the model to give a sort of drawn effect. Uh, so the same thing with the extensions. If you just keep your eye up here where this roof comes together, notice this corner. After I click apply, these lines come past where they actually would meet a little bit longer. So if we boost that up to 7 even, you see that it gets actually a lot more rough, a lot more sketchy looking. So if this is the desired effect and you're happy with how it looks, what you can do afterwards is come down to save as view template. And if you click on here, it asks you to choose, choose a name. So you could call this um, sketchy line style and click on OK and it opens up this dialog box here where you can you know affect more settings in your view um, but for the time being we're just going to say okay and i'll hit okay on this dialog box as well and what we can do is open up another one and now if this one doesn't have a style already applied to it okay so you can see the settings on this one are kind of dark i've got um, a more realistic style this one here so what I can do now is instead right click on the actual view in the project browser and say apply template properties and that familiar dialog box comes up and I'll just choose sketchy line style and I'll click OK.
And as I mentioned before, what it's done is it's brightened this up a little bit. It's maybe look a little bit more messy, but at the same time, it does look like it wasn't generated by a computer, more like somebody just drawing this out on a piece of paper. So that's it for this video. Um, we're going to take a look at cloud rendering uh, soon enough. So check back for that one. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you're enjoying your experience with Revit so far. Thanks for watching. Bye now.